Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me again. We're in the same clothes on the same day as I just made my last video. This is part two of the instrument vocal series where I just realized as I made the guitar vocal video, why don't I try to unlock more instruments with the voice? Maybe like a, a violin or like some strings, but that might take some time, but I'll figure it out. But like I said, today's going to be the flute video. I just made the guitar vocal. You haven't checked that one out. Go check it out right now. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe notification bell as well. So you never miss a video that I post. Also, my description is chock full of sweet things like preset packs, all my new music, all my social media, all my equipment. And a distro kid link to get 5% off your sign up so your music can be streamed throughout the world. Anyway, let's get into this flute vocal, people. So I'm using the same workspace as I did for the guitar. The flute is very simple. If you did not watch my guitar vocal, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I set up the buses. So I have a dry track I'm talking on right now. You're gonna want a dry track, okay? You just wanna click here, go to bus one. Boom, click here. Go to bus two. Now in the areas that have been created, bus one and bus two, they'll appear for you when you do it. They're already there for me. The first one, reverse, space designer, mono, stereo. Go in real quick, 2.6 second vocal plate. That's large plate, 2.6 second vocal. Zero wet, negative five dry. Nothing else has changed. And the second one, you can honestly just drag it over. And instead of the 2.6 second vocal, we've got a large, outdoor 9.2 second upper echelon uh zero wet negative five dry like before this one's just a very spacey one the other one's tighter this one's super wide and the vocal one is a little closer you'll hear in a second so as i talk right now this is the vocal plate it's set to negative 15 all right this one's very wide it's a negative three you're gonna start to hear a difference huh. Now that you have the buses set up, so you don't have to go back and watch that video, you can watch this, but that's how you do it. So real quickly, let me demonstrate what it sounds like. I'm gonna make a little recording right now. I'm, I'm gonna leave it dry so you can hear how my voice is. This is how I do the flute. Try to get as, your voice as high whistle as possible. I'm doing it in the same style as the last video. Here we go. <clears throat> That was hard to do, I don't know why. Just like the last video, the first thing you wanna do is find the pitch correction. The pitch correction, so pitch, pitch correction, mono. When you're inside of it, the best thing I can tell you is just to cycle through natural minor and major scale and check all the roots until it sounds right. And then you can go from there. But mine right now is C sharp, natural minor, just like the last video. So you can hear it with pitch correction now. All right, so now that you know that, you wanna double click your track, just like last time, click this, Turn on flex, click the bar, go to flex pitch, go down to scale quantize, make sure it's what your pitch correction is set to, so natural minor, C sharp is what the pitch correction was at. Highlight your flute notes and correct them 100%. They sound like this. When you play a flute, it's normally just a flat note or whatever you want to call it. There's no vibrato in it. So let's dehumanize it by taking the vibrato button. Make sure everything's highlighted. It's the middle dot in between each note. Make it 0%. And then all the lines become flat. And it's less human, more instrument. Ready? And then right here, I heard a little mishap. It's off key with this. So what I do, this is all different. I just raise it, now it sounds right. That's the beauty of these instrument vocals is that you can move the notes to wherever the hell you want if you're very off key because they're not words. They're gonna be so heavily distorted that you won't recognize a voice anyway. So you can really just do whatever you want and you can let the computer do all the work for you. All right, now let's turn on pitch correction with everything corrected, sounds like this. All right, now that you have that, what we're gonna do is create the first flute track. Now, if you look, there's a squeak and there's a deep. This is the deep. This is the squeak. The deep part of it's meant to kind of sound like a woodwind instrument, and the squeak is to give it that flute whistle type of thing. All right, it just pairs well together. There are identical tracks. The only difference is the vocal transformer plugin. So we're gonna figure that out right now. So now we're gonna set up the flute track bass. We went first the noise gate, just like the guitar. We don't want any extra noise. Dynamics, noise gate, mono, fast gate, click the top, factory. Fast gate, negative 28, leave it at that. Next, after the gate is the vocal transformer. We're not gonna do anything to it yet, but it's found in pitch, vocal transformer mono. Don't change it, turn it off. We'll figure that out later. Next, the pitch correction that we set up with. So remember, pitch, pitch correction, mono. And that's how I had it. It's gonna be how you had it as well. Just use the same pitch correction for each track. Next, we got a compressor. We're gonna compress it. Dynamics, compressor, mono. 
You can do anything you really want here. You don't have to get very detailed with it. It looks like we have a little bit of a negative five reduction. Ratio of 2.8 to one. Threshold, negative 28.5. Make up a 2.5. Auto gain is off. No distortion. Attacks at 50. Release at 150. I have Studio VCA, it's the red one, it's the smoothest one in my opinion. Now we close it. Next we have a channel EQ to clean it up. EQ, channel EQ, mono. Inside of it, we have a simple low and high reduction. The high is not taken away too much, but there's a lot of low taken. What you can do is pause the screen and double click each value and change it to what I have, or we took the red all the way to 150. We dropped it here. Then we took the orange, brought it to 200. We dropped it to make a shelf to remove some more low, negative four. Took this green to 500 and dropped it negative three because the 500 area sucks. Nothing here, blue, brought it to 5K and dropped it negative one. And then took this purple, 15,000, dropped it negative 10, and then gain plus one. And there you go. Once again, these aren't that important. Uh, and finally, we have a pedal board. Bring it over. This one's not like the guitar one. Amps and pedals, pedal board, mono. When you're inside of it, it's just the regular pedal board. <laughs> it's going to come up like this. Sustain at negative 22.5. Level at negative 3. I don't think I did anything. Nope. Just click pedal board and leave it. That's it. And then the buses we did in the beginning. Ha. Ha. I'm going to take away some soap. So this is what it sounds like without vocal transformation. Now well, let's get into it. All right, now like I said, we're gonna name that flute. That'll be the drone. Now that you made the main bass track for the flute, you wanna command D to duplicate it, and then change this one to flute squeak. So let's begin with this one. Like I said, we put vocal transformer in there, but we didn't touch it. Now we wanna touch them. So because this is drone, this is gonna delay my voice. Go into it, format, not pitch, format. Negative two. Remember, you wanna go by 12s because 12 is an octave. If you go not by 12s, it'll change the key and kinda of ruin it. So make it 12. You could even make it 24. All right, with all together. And that's that one. Now you gotta click the track you did the flute noise on, hold Alt or Option, and drag it down and make sure its position and length is perfect. Make the squeak a little bit quieter. Now go into your squeak transformer, and we're gonna do 12 on each. 12 pitch, like this. And then 12 for this. So it's the super chipmunk vocal. Okay, add everything. Huh? Make sure it's quiet. quieter. Make sure it's quieter. Now what you might be thinking is, you have to do the whoo. Maybe you can get a little lower. I haven't tried doing it with a lower voice. Let's figure it out, see if it works. Uh. Uh. breaking my whole system. That kind of worked, that was kind of cool. But anyway, they, that's how you get the flute vocal. Now we're just gonna do a little freestyle with the flute vocal over this beat. Same beat as I made my new song on. Make sure to check that out, but let's, <coughs> let's perform it and make it beautiful. <coughs> That's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. Because if you didn't, I'll be a little upset because now my lungs and chest hurt a little bit. Anyway, make sure to drop a like in that video. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. What else to do next? Like I said before, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe. And the notification bell as well. Also, my description is full of sweet things. Go check that out. Anyway, this has been a crab lord. How to get that flute vocal effect. And Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins. Like always, we out.